Last night I had a bit of an accident. So I want to talk to you about this accident and how it could have been avoided had I only taken a few precautions that pretty much come with the book. I had decided to run indoors as it was very cold outside. So I was staring at the wall, quite bored actually. But look at this problem. I don't have the emergency key attached to my waist. And that's not the only thing. I also have a couch really close behind me. You're supposed to have quite a bit of room in between. But I kept running. I attempted to read magazines to keep my interest. But I couldn't turn the pages without it just being annoying. So I got rid of that and thought, well, my phone's behind me on the couch. I'll just turn down the speed, go the opposite direction of the treadmill. That won't be a problem, but it was a problem because look, I fell. I fell and the treadmill kept moving and it pushed me into the couch and I couldn't stop because I didn't have the emergency key on and the couch was way too close. I couldn't even fall off the edge end of the treadmill. Instead, I fell off the side. And I rolled, and it was not attractive. My feet got stuck between the couch and the treadmill, and I have a burn on my left ankle to prove it. Then I continued to roll as I screamed out for my family, who then came running very quickly. Needless to say, I didn't need to end up here, on the floor, in the middle of a one mile run, in my bedroom. So when you're on your treadmill next time, try to remember those really important tips. Definitely wear the emergency key and make sure that you have plenty of room behind you because that was just pure genius.